Today, we're gonna make a bayonet for an M1 carbine. Kinda drew it out, make sure everything fits right. We're gonna have to be pretty precise to make sure that we get everything lined up there so that the bayonet will fit at the end of the barrel and clip in right here with the pommel. There's a couple things on here um, that I don't know about, like this right here. But the M1 carving was used in World War II, Vietnam War, and the Korean War. There's a little JM stamped right there. Not that we really need it, but we're going to try to put a bayonet on the end of it. We've cut out our design. Now we're just going to glue it on to our steel. Normally I don't do that, but because this one needs to be so precise. Um, I guess the blade isn't as important, but our distance is here so that it will fit on the end of the barrel. That's important. So I thought I'd glue it on, try to be a little more precise on exactly what we're doing here today. There we go, there's the rough cut out. Gotta go take off these burrs. Okay, here's our blade. All ready to go, but we're gonna draw some, we're gonna put some dicum on it and draw our center lines, make sure that everything's parallel. But I also borrowed this guy from my father So we have something to go off of a little bit. But if you can see, they're just thrown together. There's gaps all over the place. I mean, it's still pretty sweet, but the tricky part is gonna be this pommel when we get there. Cause we're gonna have to make these latches. Let's see if what we can So that it will hook on. I'm trying to decide whether I should go get some plastic, like not this plastic, but get some black plastic to put on as a handle, or I got this that we stabilized in a earlier video that I really want to put on there and make a, a fancier looking bayonet. So right now we're gonna work on the blade. Let me know in the comments. I think we're going to do two parts. I don't know. We'll see. Multi-part video depending on how long this stuff takes. The pommel is the part that we'll see about. Also the guard. All that fit up. First time I've actually had to follow exact measurements. So uh, we're going to put our scribe lines in and, and start getting this blade ready. We got all our scribe lightens in. We need to make it a little bit thinner. Put our bevels in. And I think that's it. Time to grind. So I got myself a new toy, 
nice file guide. Try to get these lined up better. There's a little bit left on that one, but this just makes it so it's easier to fit the guard, cleaner fit up. Um, um, we'll see what we can do here, but got that pretty close. I'll just finish up real quick here and everything is lined up now. So we just got to take it off. Now as we put a guard on there, oh, should be nice and straight. And All right, because I don't make Damascus, we're going to add some furnace cement and make a hamon. We have our clay on both sides now. So we're gonna go out and, and heat treat now. Okay, so I've been doing some hardness tests. It's hard until about right here. It gets a little bit softer. Um, it's still hard, just not as hard as I would like. However, because it is a bayonet, we're probably okay. So I don't think I'm gonna, so we have this part right here that's blade. This bottom part is not a blade. It only the blade only goes to about here, the edge. So here is good. Here is good. Just this small section here is not as hard as I would like. So we'll see. I'll probably just go redo it real quick. Then we'll come back and and sand all this off. And then we'll temper it. So All right, we got our temper going, or it happened. We got our colors, a nice gold, a little bit of purple there on the edges. So now we're gonna do more sanding. Okay, we got the blade to 1000 grit. It's looking pretty Pretty nice. So now we're gonna clean it off with some acetone and we're gonna put it in some, some ferric chloride. And this is gonna help um, see the hum on a little bit better, but we're also gonna polish it. And that's what's really gonna bring out the hum on, hopefully. So it's all cleaned off. And we'll let it sit. So you can see the, the hamon a little bit there in the middle. Now as we polish it, it brings out that different still, different chemical properties of the still more, and then you'll be able to see it better. So now we'll start polishing.
So there's a couple spots we can polish up a little bit better. I want to focus. But when the glare is not there, you can see the hamon there at the top. There we go, that's probably focus. But it turned out pretty good. Um, touch up a couple extra spots and then we can move on. Make sure to subscribe for part two, the guard of the handle. Also, leave a couple comments for ideas on fancy things we can do for the handle. Thanks.